Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, I got so many uh, viewers and then uh, want to know how to fix their uh, iPhone after they update to the new uh, iOS uh, firmware. So let's go ahead and then, uh, for example, if you uh, update uh, to the software update, as you can see right now, the new and latest uh, iOS is uh, 12.1.2. And uh, you want to go ahead and read uh, what they fix, uh, what kind of bug the, it will fix. If you don't really need to update it, then you don't try not to update it. So after that, you can download and install. If you need to update, if you got the new iPhone 10R, 10S, or 10S Max, it says uh, fix bug with the eSIM activation for those uh, models and addresses an issue that could affect cellular connectivity in Turkey for those uh, model that we just mentioned. So since uh, this is the old iPhone uh, 6S, so I don't need to download those. I'm, I'm just going to skip it. So first thing first, you want to go ahead and then uh, update your uh, I mean, uh, open your uh, camera app. So if you, in case you get the black screen like this, and then uh, your flash uh, doesn't uh, turn on, you want to go ahead and then uh, switch the camera, push, uh, change to the front facing camera. Okay. So if that works and then your rear camera is not working, you want to go ahead and uh, double click it and then uh, close it. If you have a 10, uh, S, 10 S Max or 10 or 10 R, you had to swipe up and hold it to uh, close your uh, camera app. And you want to go ahead and then try on with the different uh, app such as uh, FaceTime or Line. Okay. Let's see if there is a personal information later. So yeah, just uh, open a, another third party uh, app and see if your camera is uh, working or not. You do that or you, you can use like a FaceTime or Skype or some other apps and then uh, test out your camera. And you could also uh, try to uh, restart your iPhone, see if that will fix the problem. Okay, uh, number second option is to, uh, you wanna go ahead and then, uh, turn off the voice uh, over feature. You wanna go ahead and then, uh, click on setting and you wanna go down to uh, general Click on general right here. You want to click on uh, accessibility and click on uh, voice uh, over right here. Make sure this is uh, off, okay? Voice alert. Press home button to cancel, Voice okay? So make sure that the voiceover uh, it is off. And then uh, after you're doing this, you want to wait for a few minutes and then you're going to launch your uh, camera app again. So you're going to launch your camera app and hopefully it's going to be working and stuff like that. Okay. And number third method is to uh, reset all setting on uh, iPhone. So you could do this by uh, going uh, click on the setting and then click on uh, general and then uh, go down and click on reset. And here you want to go ahead and then uh, click on uh, reset all setting and then enter your password if you do have it into your restriction uh, password or passcode so you're gonna enter that and then you're gonna confirm your uh, 
it will ask you if you want to confirm to the uh, all setting or reset all setting and that might uh, reboot your iPhone and then you're gonna go ahead and then uh, open your camera app and see if it, uh, that fix your problem or issue if there's a new uh, software update you want to go ahead and then try to update on the number four the options hopefully the new update will uh, fix your uh, problem because sometimes if uh, apples know there's a problem with the last update they might come out with a new uh, software update and then just go ahead and click on download and install and enter your password if you have any and then just click on download so it's automatically requesting already as you can see the gear is running and it's going to take about 19 minutes uh, to do this update so hopefully that will uh, fix your problem if it's uh, software issues okay and then uh, i'm going to show you guys uh, a link that uh, you could uh, try to fix a camera issue uh, with the iMyPhone iOS uh, system uh, recovery. You could use that uh, in the window or the Mac. And if that still did not fix the problem. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you guys on how to fix it uh, with the I, my phone iOS system recovery so this one will fix your iOS uh, device with without any of the data loss at all and come with the three modes it come with the standard mode one click repair mode and uh, advanced uh, mode and besides uh, fixing the iPhone camera issues it also can fix the iPhone stuck in the recovery mode and iPhone won't charge or turn on after the iOS 12 update and more. So let's go and then click on, if you have Windows, you're gonna click on this one and I'm gonna be the Mac user since I have a MacBook. Let's click on that and now it start downloading. I will include the link in the description. So now it's installing the, this uh, software. So we're going to install this uh, iOS uh, repair uh, tool on the computer and then uh, open it and launch it. And we need to connect to the iPhone to the computer with the data cable and then uh, select uh, standard mode. So right here we're going to click on this to the application folder. Let's go to launch pad and see if it's in here somewhere. Okay, it's right here. So I don't know why it didn't automatically uh, open or pop up. So I'll just click on open. So there's a trial version and then there's a pay version, okay? So it says that to work normally will prevent iTunes from opening, running our program. Okay, so so make sure your uh, iTunes is not open when you try to run this app. So without the pay version, you will not fix uh, iOS uh, issues. Okay, you will download the firmware, exit recovery mode with one click, enter recovery mode with one click. So there's a standard mode which is allow you to uh, fix the following issue without data loss, white or black screen, stuck on Apple logo, stuck in recovery mode, boot loops, iTunes uh, errors, bricked or frozen iPhone, won't turn on and more. Advanced uh, mode, choose this uh, mode if you for 
get the password for screen lock or you fail to fix the iOS issue with the standard mode so this one probably the pay version that will allow you to fix it so the standard one this is always the thing that you can fix and then enter exit the recovery mode here so if i click on this it's going to ask you to uh, connect your uh, iphones or ios device to the computer so if you have a pin to lock your uh, make sure you enter the pin lock so to fix your device uh, please make sure it is uh, connected and then uh, follow the step below to put it in uh, dfu mode so you can click on start right here so there are other devices i mean other i devices or oh, if you have an iphone 7 or 7 plus you click on this one and then if you have an iphone a or a or later click on that one and here are the instructions on how to put your phone in dfu mode it says uh, quickly uh, re press and uh, quickly uh, press the volume up button first and then the volume down button press and hold the side button until the screen turns uh, black as soon as the screen goes black press and hold the volume down button together with the side button for 5 seconds after 5 seconds release the side button but keep holding the volume down button for at least uh, five seconds okay so that go with the iphone 8 iphone 10 10s 10s max and iphone 10r so with the iphone uh, 7 or 7 plus click on start and then uh, press and hold the side button and volume down button together for 8 to 10 seconds release the side button but continue to hold the volume down button for at least uh, 5 seconds so if you have an older uh, iPhones click on start here press and hold side button and home button simultaneously for 8 to 10 seconds and then uh, release the side button but continue to hold the home button for at least uh, five seconds so it says uh you need to download firmware first to successfully fix the, your device it's better to choose a firmware that is not older than your ios version so i just uh update mine already so let me check so i just uh, update to the ios 12.1.2 uh, So I'm not sure why it's asking me to download again. Let's go ahead and click on that, see what it says. I don't know why is uh, iTunes popping out. I gotta force it to quick. Maybe that's why it give me a uh, phone keep vibrating. I guess every time when you uh, it detects the iPhone, it's automatically uh, try to open the iTunes or something. So I get it pop out again. I gotta press OK to close it. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear the background. My iPhone keep on vibrating on and off because it's a. Uh, detecting Finally, okay. 
So let's click on star and see what's happening. So when I click on enter uh, recovery mode, my uh, phone has an item with the plug-in charging cable up arrow sign just like this. And then I'm going to click on exit recovery mode. And then now my phone is uh, restarting. The last uh, recommendation uh, way is to uh, do a factory uh, reset on your iPhone. But you want to be sure you have a uh, backup everything and uh, have a backup copy of your uh, to your computers, either your window or your uh, Mac. So if you want to go ahead and then uh, do that, you can go ahead and then uh, click on uh, setting. And then we're going to go ahead and click on general again. And again, we're going to go ahead and then uh, click on reset. And right here this time, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on erase uh, all content and setting. And then you're going to go ahead and then uh, make sure you have backup everything. You're going to erase uh, everything on your phone back to uh, factory setting. So all your pictures, your videos, photo, your uh, apps will get uh, deleted, okay? Unless you have a backup copy, later on you can uh, backup and restore. So make sure you have a backup in order to do this. So you go click on erase now, and if you have a PIN number or password, it's going to ask you to enter it, okay? Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this video. But uh, if that does not fix your problem, the only thing uh, will, it will be your uh, hardware failure. If you have a hardware failure, if you drop your phone uh, pretty hard on the floor or something, you might have to go to the Apple Genies. And if you have Apple Care, or if you have insurance, or if you are still under uh, warranty, I would suggest you to uh, make appointment or schedule an appointment with the Apple Genies through the Apple Store. Or you could call your carriers and let them know you have a uh, equipment failure, but try not to tell them that you dropped the phone or something like that. They might first uh, troubleshoot uh, over the phone and then uh, with the technician and stuff like that. And if that still did not fix your problem, they might send you a phone or if you have insurance, then you might have to file insurance claim. The first year, is you normally you get the warranty uh, exchange for free unless uh, you got a cracked screen, they're not going to cover that. All right. So uh, please uh, drop in comments on below, see which step that will fix your problem. I will include another video toward the end that uh, how I fix uh, the iPhone 6S. Uh, but I had to open it up the phone and disconnect uh, some of the cables. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.